Welcome to our Lakeside Virtual CCA Experience 2021. CCA stands for Co-Curriculum Activities. It's co because it complements our curriculum. And CCA is a very key part of our student experiences. Let's look at the purpose of CCA. Firstly, through this platform, our children learn specific skills, discover their interests and talents. It's also an authentic platform for our students to develop their character, core values, social emotional competencies and 21st CC competencies in order to grow them to be ready for the future. CCA also forms a common space for our students to actually forge strong friendships where they are able to interact with students from different levels and different classes and from different backgrounds as well. And in so doing, we hope that it deepens the sense of identity and the belonging to the school and the community. Our school has four main categories of CCA, the Visual and Performing Arts, Sports, Clubs and the Uniform Group. And in these four categories, Lakeside offers 18 CCAs. Here are the list of CCAs and I'd like to just highlight a few of these CCAs that are relatively new. So for example, in the Visual and Performing Arts, our Visual Arts Club is relatively new, started two years ago. It's a combination of two CCAs so that we can broaden the experience and the learning of the children in the Visual Arts. Another CCA I just would like to highlight is the STEM Club. STEM with a cube in between stands for science, technology, engineering, environment, education, and math. This club replaces the environment education club so that it broadens our children's perspective and learning, including the various aspects. Phases of CCA resumption. In 2020, there was some period where we had to put CCA on hold. And while we abide by the national posture, we were also um, very, very aware of the needs of our students and the learning experience that we are providing for them. And this year, we have resumed face-to-face -face CCA for quite a number of our CCAs, some blended, and others still in the ECCA mode. That's our first phase and we hope to move to our phase three where CCA is normalized and we are able to resume all CCAs face to face. There are many considerations when we bring our CCAs back to face to face. These are some of the considerations, for example, anticipation of uh, the National School Games and the, um, also the SYF in visual arts, the number of persons that we allow in any one group, safe distancing between the children and between groups, as well as the group size that we are allowed to have. Other considerations would be safe management measures. Of course, we are very, very strict in the school just so that we can keep our children safe and our teachers safe. Group size, as well as the staggered lunch hours. When we have all CCAs back in school for face-to-face -face CCAs, we need to manage the numbers and the size and the levels that are using the school canteen at any one time. 
So these are the CCAs that we have managed to bring back. For those in blue are the CCAs that are back face to face. And then those that are in red um, are conducting blended CCAs. Uh, and those who are in green, for example, choir, DK Bharat, harmonica, speech and drama, where it requires a lot more of speaking and singing, um, we have kept it at ECCA mode due to the nature of the CCA. So really, CCAs are an integral part of the holistic development of our students. And that's why we have prioritised this CCA experience. In the past years, you can see from the photos that it's like a carnival where children in the various CCA groups are able to share with you uh, physically, face-to-face, -face, what they have learned or what they experience in the CCAs. But this year, we have done it differently and we hope that it will be just as meaningful and enriching for you. And we hope that this CCA experience will be able to provide you a better understanding of the various CCAs that we have as well as to make an informed decision on the selection of a CCA for your child. So together, students and your parents do talk about the CCA that you would like to take part in. So here's a quote that through CCA, students develop character, learn values, social emotional competencies and skills all so that we prepare them, not just for the now, but for future challenges. With that, I thank you and I hope that you enjoy the sessions that our CCA teachers and our students have prepared for you to share their experiences and their learning in the different CCA breakout sessions. Thank you and have a good day. Good day parents, welcome to the 2021 edition of the CCA Experience. My name is Mr. Rosaimi, the CCA Coordinator. Today I'll be bringing you through the admin briefing for the CCA Experience. In line with this year's theme for our school, Riding Waves of Opportunity, there's also an opportunity for your child to be groomed into a CCA leader if he or she possesses the leadership qualities from there, he or she will be able to take on leadership roles and responsibilities and he or she will also be able to assist teachers and instructors and coaches in CCA matters. During CCA, selected pupils will be given the opportunity to represent the school in competitions. This can be the zonal and national competitions and Singapore Youth Festival competitions. Okay, there might also be some ad hoc competitions that are organised by schools and external organisations. This is a list of the 18 CCAs across five different categories that your child can participate in. Other than that, we also have the CCA brochure that can be found on the CCA website where you can find a brief synopsis of what the CCAs are all about as well as a list of the teachers in charge. Moving on to the CCA option form. At the end of this CCA experience, you are expected to submit the CC option forms. They will be available starting from 5 p.m. today in a Google form. Do note that all option forms are to be submitted by Tuesday, the 30th of March, 2021. How do you go about submitting the CC option form? When you are at the Google form, please select your child's class, followed by your child's name. Following that, you will need to indicate all four choices of CCAs in terms of preference. At the end of the form, do ensure you click Submit. Once the school has decided which CCA your child will be participating in, we will be notifying your child by Term 2 Week 10 of the CCA they have been allocated in. They will be receiving a consent form 
from the teacher in charge of the respective CCAs. Consent forms will be shared to your child either through printed copies or on parents gateway. Do note that your child will be attending CCA from term 3 week 1 onwards. Details will be provided to you on the consent forms itself. Some important information that you should know. Our CCA days are on Tuesdays from 2.30pm to 4.30pm. There will be some CCAs who will be conducting their sessions on Fridays where they will have to prepare for SYF or for zonal and national competitions. But this is only for selected CCAs. Again, details will be provided to you when necessary. As for the reporting venue, they will be told where to report and at what time in the consent forms. At the end of this admin briefing, you can proceed to join the four different breakout sessions. The Zoom codes have been made available to you on Parents Gateway. Each session will last for about 15 minutes with a five minute break after the first two sessions. So what do you expect to experience in the breakout rooms? There will be a short sharing by the CCA teachers on what the students will experience if they choose to be part of your CCA. And at the end of it, there will be a Q&A session followed by a sharing session by the CCA leaders on their experiences being in the CCA itself. Thank you very much for listening to my admin briefing. From here, you can enjoy the breakout sessions. Thank you very much. A very good afternoon to all the parents here. Thank you for taking your precious time off from your busy schedule to be here. I'm Mrs. Angeline Tang, the School Education and Career Guidance Coordinator. Today, I would like to share more on how you as parents can play a vital role in guiding and supporting your child in the selection of CCA. CCA are an integral part of our student holistic education. Through CCA, students discover their interests and strengths while developing their values and competencies that, are that will prepare them for a rapid changing world. CCA also promotes friendship among students from diverse backgrounds as they learn, play and grow together. Participation in CCA fosters social integration and deepens students' sense of belonging, commitment and sense of responsibility to school, community and nations. Therefore, Parent involvement in guiding your child in their selection of CCA is a very important process. Let me share with you what are some things that you can consider and talk to your child about during their decision making in regards to their selection of CCA. Here are some key questions that you can ask your child when he or she chooses his or her CCA. It is essentially knowing and understanding who they are and their strengths and interests in order for them to make informed choices. The more they know about themselves, the better they can make their decision. It is important for parents to be there for your child during this process of decision making so that they can take time to consider and talk to you about it. Remember that every child is unique. They have their own unique strength and interests. They have different passions and dreams as well as learning pace and style. You need to consider all these factors as you guide your child in a selection of CCA. Such heart-to-heart -heart time of talking to your child is also a great way to bond with your child and understand him or her better. Let me share briefly on the definition of strength and interest and some examples. Strength are what you are good at. For example, I am good at reading with expression, the way an actor talk in TV shows. Another example, I'm good at taking things apart and figuring how they work. Here, we will talk a little bit more about interests. Interests are basically what you enjoy doing. For example, I enjoy drawing and painting. I enjoy uh, baking and cooking. To sum up, as mentioned previously, understanding who we are includes discovering and understanding our strengths and interests. 
Sometimes it could be from your time spent together with your child and observation about him or her. Sometimes it can also be what your child has told you about. So be attentive and be there for your child to understand and discover what they are good at and what they are interested in. To end my sharing, I would like to encourage all parents to continue to play an active role in your child's education and especially in guiding your child in the selection of CCA. We want to encourage the holistic development of each child and hence your partnership together with us is really very important. The fact that you have taken your precious time off your busy schedule shows us that you really care for your child and want the best for him and her. Hence, I would like to say a big thank you to all of you and do have a heart and heart, heart to heart talk with your child after briefing as they make important decisions on selecting the CCA that is most suitable for them. Thank you and I wish you all the best in guiding and supporting your child in this important milestone in their lives.